Okay, no. here they come. Is everyone ready? Was the sky just flickering? Am I okay? Did, did I just have a seizure? Am I... Uh... Are we just leaving all of our beds, I guess? Hey, V. Sorry I got mixed up in all this. How do you feel about everything? I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to feel guilty? It's dumb. Time to forget about the past and move on, Claire. I know. Dean would have wanted me to move on instead of just dwelling on the past. Again, thank you for everything, V. Dean also probably would have wanted you to not murder somebody in cold blood while they're begging you to stop, you know, at point blank with a gun. You know, a thing that they never did. Take, take care, Claire. Say that ten times the best. Take care, Claire. Click, 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 care, Claire, Claire, click, click, Claire, click, Claire, click, Claire. Care, Claire. So this hasn't failed yet, right? Okay, see, so yeah, there's no real time limit. That's what I thought. I was worried, though, because it seemed all urgent, but they always make it seem urgent, and then you have five consecutive or simultaneous urgent sounding missions. But uh, I was like, I'm sorry, dude. I can't leave the quest I'm already doing. Even though this mission's not urgent, because apparently we can, like, take a nap in the middle of it. Little help for my friends being a Beatles song, because they're really, they are very consistently song lyrics. I mean, they're titles. Are we gonna get high with a little help from my friends? Get her up to speed. Or are we just gonna get by? My objective is to follow the train. It'd be hard to fuck that up. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming and hauling. Take out that couple. Okay, here we go. Oh. Shit. Apparently my objective right now is completely optional. I'm trying. There we go. It says optional, so I can just not do it, apparently. We. Oh, there they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I thought we were just gonna drive through a fucking... Oop. I thought we were about to drive through a building. Oh. Just let me shoot them with guns, I'll be fine. Sup. We're fine. You guys get out of here, you can die. I can't die, really. I'm pretty okay. Headshot. Oh, you're on my team. It's kind of nice to be using a shotgun again. It's like cartoonishly effective, apparently. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot what this one was between sessions. Double barrel shotgun tech can be charged. I'm, I'm, that's me firing it at low power? Oh my god. I was only clicking and it was one-shotting everybody. Apparently it can be stronger. A funny looking thing. It's got like, I put a bunch of D batteries all over it to make it more oomphy. I have to do some inventory management soon. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Fuck! It worked. <laughs> of course it did. Just as I said it would.
Of those celebration hunks, not emergency hunks. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting from Mitch and Teddy. That. So is there going to be a choice for me to join this clan? I feel like that should be a choice, right? They're, they're quote-unquote family, but not like a literal family. You don't have to be like born into a nomad tribe. Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. I'm a clanless nomad, and I'm all bro-y with these people. Like, why not just join up? There's, like, all these different models of windmill. I like think those ones with the rings. Like, different models being added, different eras. Actually, those look like some janky, pieced together much later ones. Like, they're made of scrap. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! And out! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. I mean, his site's pretty far. There's uh, not a lot of buildings around here. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems to still be in fine work and order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. They had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V, I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Ding. Still working my way up through here. Oh. That was weird. I have never heard that sound in this entire game. It's really trippy and it's just an error message saying that you're level- it, like it- it sounds hype, but it's an error message telling you that you've finished leveling something up. So it's really weird. Weird. What a strange message. Alright, we actually- oh god, 295. Okay, I need I need to deal with my shit, apparently. Um 
You can't rank by damage, only DPS. That's frustrating. And they never explain what quote unquote default means. You don't even know what that's supposed to refer to, whatever the default supposedly is. That's Skippy, which still is not good for per shot. That seems the other gun options here are all bad. We can comfortably stick with this one. Shotgun options doesn't keep up with this one. And a charge shotgun's fine. I, that, that, that charging fits a shotgun better than a sniper rifle. A sniper rifle, I'm clicking because it's time for me to do the shot. I don't want to like line up a shot on a moving target or whatever like move, that adjusts here and there. Then wait three seconds for a charge to happen or whatever. It's like, I no, the moment I click needs to be when it fires. So I hate that idea. No, it seems like these are all trash. Ah! That whole screen freaked out for a second there. I wish the tooltip would go like over here so it doesn't block half the screen. Because I'm trying to keep track of where the iconic weapons are so I don't disassemble them. And I can't tell where they are. So I have to keep an eye on them constantly by going back and forth. I can't just... I uh, I often just want to mash the button and just get through it faster. But, you, but you'll get your, yourself in trouble that way. Hello, stupid melee weapons that don't matter. Alright, that got, that got rid of half the shit in my inventory. Oh, right, back to inventory. Gear. Increases maximum oxygen. Uh... I guess it's for swimming missions. Or something. I, it hasn't really come up. Oh. 15% increased crit chance is such an obvious, massive upgrade. Considering my current stuff doesn't even have stats at all. 30% crit damage. Some of these weapons, some of these pieces of gear are hilariously effective. And suddenly, like, I don't give a shit about what it, our armor rating they have. Like, once they have something hilariously effective like that, like, 15% crit chance on one piece of gear? That's, like, massively overpowered by most game standards. Um, melee stats? I don't care about those. I'll just go for armor in this one's case. Maybe I'll keep it around if I desperately want to be prepared for the boxing missions or whatever. Reduce stamina cost while it's hot. That doesn't matter. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, my pants also have 15% crit chance? Well then, none of this other stuff matters. So my shirt and my pants both increase my crit chance by 15%. That's 30% crit chance! Is it multiplicative from what my starting percentage was, or is it literally a 30% chance of critting on top of whatever my existing chance was? Because that is incredibly powerful. Like, no game would let you just have that on random pieces of gear. Like, I guess they're epic level or whatever, but I don't know. That seems like incredibly, incredibly strong. Stats? My crit chance is 26%, so... It's not a flat number. Or they're multiplicative with each other or something? I don't know. But those two combined should be 30. But my crit chance is 26, so I don't I don't know how this is calculated. But crit damage is at 160%, so they're pretty high crit chance overall. We got max level street cred. And back to crafting. Legendary smart sniper rifle. Yeah, we can't craft these till I get artisan. There's the Overwatch. Don't have, we don't have the parts for most of these things. Probably just do some upgrades, just to keep grinding. Unfortunately, upgrading it doesn't make my crit chance go higher. Which is definitely what, I, what I'd actually want. Uh, which... I'm using the grad. 
I think there's is there an icon anywhere that tells you what your whether something's equipped right now? Like this is equipped right now. And that one's not equipped. How do they look different? There's a yellow background, but that just means it's iconic. That's not related. They're not sorted by equipped, because this one shows up first. You can't sort by equipped, which is fucking stupid. Uh, no mention of being equipped anywhere around here that I can see. That's like a really base level thing for your interface to have, is just reporting which items you're wearing right now and which ones are just in your inventory. It's really unhelpful if you can't show that to me. Oh well. Level 10 crafting. We're just slowly grinding away. Hoping it pays off one day. Can't save right now? We're not in a quest. Why can't I save right now? Huh. A side job right here. No, I'm, I'm sticking to the main quest right now. The side main quest. The main side quest. Haha. <laughs> Whatever word means. Oh, leave the camp and wait a day till the bass looks ready. So, I'm technically in a quest. It's just my quest log has already changed to something else. Alright, let's follow up on emergency call from yesterday that I blew off for a day. I'm great. Why isn't this one work? So this one just generally doesn't work for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Oops. Give car, please. Must drive car. There you are. <laughs> Jammed into another vehicle. Is that the... S That's the soundtrack, right? I'm like, did my car just make that noise when I was backing up? My motorcycle. Also, what mo what mo I should check when I arrive. What am I what am I summoning? Because it's the wrong car. Oh. Ooh. I can disintegrate entire trees with my face. Hello, V. Uh, Jefferson. Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Be there in no time. It might be days. Don't fucking make promises without consulting me first. Aldecaldo's vehicle. You're the wrong fucking vehicle. Come here. Ah. There we F wasn't working, that was weird. You're the motorcycle that's supposed to be here. You're Jackie's arch. Dude died. There, now that'll be the one that shows up whenever I summon it. Got swapped at some point. There's probably a reward at some point, and I just didn't care that much that it was my reward. What is that? No, I, what? Dream on! I don't know what the hunt is, but that's a really... The hunt is a really generic sounding song title, so it could... There's probably a lot of songs called The Hunt, actually. There's a very good movie called The Hunt that came out last year. Was it last year? <clears throat> I watched it a few times now because it's just... Honestly, it's just fucking hysterical. <laughs> and some of the action's really good. It's all, all together a really well put together movie that uh, people were preemptively mad about in a really frustrating way without ever seeing it. And it was potentially one of my favorite movies of 2020. I mean, that, well, it is one of my favorite movies of 2020. I, was, I, meant to, I meant to say potentially my favorite of 2020. Invisible Man was pretty good. I saw those as like a double feature, just back to back, and I'm like, yes! Oh, but Harley Quinn was really good. Uh, who's shooting at me? I, 
probably like the hunt more than Harley Quinn. Looks like this is the place. Well, this is the place. Yeah, you said you said we'll be there in in, in, in any minute now, but now it's time to wait till the fucking sun goes down, because we can only meet up with this guy at night. He meant he meant last night, but we're a dick. Sorry, I'm just so important, and I've got so many friends that need me at the same time, River. You wouldn't know what it's like. Hey, V. So How you holding up? Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car, hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. from the footage is LeVar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Make sure you're Unfortunately, LeVar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for developments in the story. I think I actually caught this entire news story before, didn't I? I think I recognized that. Weird how the gunshot was silent. Actually, weird how the entire scene was completely silent. This, uh, Peter Pan. He in no case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. <laughs> Uh, do I need to call Judy? But it's already yielding results. Now, I've, I've already experienced other people's feelings multiple times. See, it, 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 like, it just happens to me. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. It says not to cross, sir. 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 This is how you get run over, sir. He does. 
Look at this fucking police swag where he just doesn't give a shit about what the actual traffic signs say. The guy just slide? That was weird. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but uh not through the main entrance. We're gonna break the law? <gasps> we'll find a different way in and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Egad, I would never, sir. Who do you take me for? Alright, fucking let's just get in here in like three seconds. Hit! I just jumped just jumped the roof. Gonna be a little hard this time, but I think we can manage. Hip. Nope, I can't grab that. Sorry. I exploded your trash. It's probably more common than you want it to be in these days. Ah. Huh. Well, that was easy. I just opened it. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? Look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kid. Oh, okay. Good talk. You said to look around. Also, I couldn't uncrouch because you can't look uncrouch during conversations. The dreams of autistic kids. That's a sentence. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. Why are they editing the dreams of autistic children? They put them back in, and they're like, here's your new dreams. They definitely don't store any BDs. Can't cl do I have to go around? Got on this side. I literally can't walk up to it on this side, but this is the correct way to view it. Oh, there we go. I, I don't like this weird thing where you see interactions, but you can only view them from one side, but they don't tell you which side it is, so you just have to like awkwardly fiddle around for a while. Like, how does that not come up in playtesting? It's annoying every time. <laughs> A novel phobia, fear of the number 91. In the recent years, the list of commonly feared numbers, such as 4, 13, and 66, has grown... 4? Oh, it, in Japan, it's the death number. Has grown to, to now officially include the number 91. While phobias of, the, of other numbers have origins well suited by science, Tetraphobia derives from the fact that the Chinese words for death and four sound similar. Oh. Oh, is it Chinese? I thought it was Jap- Alright. We can only hypothesize about the rise of 91. Patients afflicted by a phobia of the number 91 often complain of reoccurring nightmares, in which a giant countdown reaches 91, then suddenly stops. When they attempt to restart the countdown, it transforms into a bright yellow board with vermin crawling all over it. They share- this shared experience has already spawned unproven conspiracy theories, which, among other things, claim that the dreams were transmitted via either electromagnetic waves, the digitized minds of a mysterious Netrunner sect, rogue artificial intelligences, or classified nanochips installed by Nightcore agents. None of these outlandish ideas contain a grain of truth, of course. So what is it that causes the phobia to manifest such intense reactions? That much yet remains unknown, but as so many scientists often claim, the truth is out there. So without full knowledge of the phobia's origin and its underlying factors, how can you treat it? Studies thus far have shown promise, uh, promising results conditioning patients via induced dream states in which the number 91 is inverted to the number 19. Although this method remains in clinical trials, expert, experts optimistic of the 91% success rate will only continue to improve. The fucking success rate is the number of the horror thing that's only gonna make the numerology obsession at worse. Security update. <clears throat> From Noemi Redweed to research team. Important. I would like to remind everyone of the upcoming audit and changes in security. 
I'm willing to answer any immediate questions you might have. As you're aware, we've had complaints from the NCPD. I know. I know. But we will have to follow the guidelines. There's no wiggle room in this. At a time to be determined later, you will all get your new double verification access signatures. You will each receive individual emails with the relevant details. No more of that reply all funny business. Until then, continue your work as normal. Of course, excluding the day we have assigned for the audit. Have a nice day. A small step for science, a giant leap for mankind. From Eugene Kuz Kuzuma. Kuzma. Good morning, all. I would like to congratulate you, our very own Dr. Yawen Packard on the recent stride she has made in the field of pediatric autism therapy. Her invaluable work has paved the way for more effective therapy applications than the established behavioral methods. Those letters uh, clearly surpassing all supportive methods, such as sensory integration and substantially building upon traditional approaches such as music therapy. I speak for all of us when I say we are extremely proud of Dr. Packard's scientific achievements, but also, more importantly, proud to see the huge inflow of warm letters from happy patient, uh, parents. Keep up the great work, everyone. Eugene Kuzma. Jeez. You read Kuzma's email congratulating Yawan? Eugene must have been very <clears throat> pleased with her strides. Wow, Gene has opinions, and they're sending them to Yolanda. I'm not surprised. I mean, she cozies up with that cop, then all of a sudden gets an NCPD contract. Uh, what a oh coinky dink. That's what they're spelling. What a coinky dink, huh? Exactly. Important. All staff, please read. From Sai Swear... Swear again? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna swear again. Uh, d dear, a, a dear team, I would like to beat around the bush as much as the next guy, but I'm afraid I don't have that luxury this time. First off, you all remember that framed quote I used to have in my office. Never trust a person who's ne never tried to steal. Well, it seems someone took that sentiment... Too much to heart. Now, don't panic. I wasn't. It wasn't the quote that was stolen. It's safely at home. Rather, it appears a staff member has taken our neurotransmitter research files from the facility with the likely intent of selling them to a third party. As such, all lab employees will be required to take a polygraph before leaving the facility, led by our own Dr. Al Tolliver. If Al finds anything troubling in your tests, the next course of action would be termination, legal action, or both. No jokes. I mean this in all seriousness. Let me emphasize, do the polygraph before leaving work. Then you're free to get into your naps, showers, lap dances, or whatever else you people do in your off hours. Have a pleasant day. You just have a pleasant day. It's just your life works probably being stolen, and also you have to be tested for potential massive consequences. Because polygraphs are so reliable. Anna Svartfasting, City Auditor. This week's audit. Dear all, as many of you know, this week's audit is simply a formality. We are required by law to periodically evaluate current laboratory safeguards for effectiveness and, fu and future modernization efforts. Remember that this audit is a benef is as beneficial for the city's bookkeeping as it is to keep you and your research safe. We're all playing for the same team here. Please just treat this as a mandatory day off. Best regards. I need water. <clears throat> Big reading marathons. Degrade throat matter. Hello. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something. Not He's yet. exploded through something. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. You have a, is that metal slug?
I already scanned the correct one and you're just opening the wrong one. Also, it's like scan for the right cabinet and like the right one's the only one you can scan, so it's pretty easy to find. Bill Graham? No. Anthony Harris. All set to record. Someone wants to be a cop when they grow up. It takes half decent. Oh, they got budget savvy management. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. face. Yo! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here, and we have strict protocols. Protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out Can't leave now. without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. Barely no River. We just work together. Do not believe any promise he makes. Good tip, thanks. But we're wasting time. Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Looks like a dead end, River. I'm sorry. Audio-visual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. I guess if she says that, then she doesn't know any more about it, so she wouldn't be helpful. Feel a little silly now, don't you, River? I just run around, make some noise, sing in the hallway. No one's gonna catch us. Oh, look, someone caught us. How embarrassing. Egg is all over your face, sir. Where's my flashlight? I need a flashlight. Did he just book it all the way back here? Yeah, he did. He covered ground.
Now we gotta do a research on somebody that's in a coma. Okay. Let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? <laughs> that it do. It's just, uh... It's not easy for me to talk about what's biting in my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? Well, it's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. Besides, we are trying. Want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. I'm pretty sure I've already played multiple quests where I literally found victims in the basement, so it's not worth- it's worth not- it's not- It's definitely worth checking. I can just stealth in and take like 30 seconds. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. What, that she got all up and close? Because she's the one that supposedly got all up and close with the cop and then got a contract all of a sudden? You think y'all want to actually you? help us? All things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. Would be my pleasure. This is it. It's sure been a while. I used to come over every weekend. Time to go. And? Changed it all since? Places like this never change. Making some very hard boot noises in what is squelchy, gross mud water. Is that mud? Or is it- maybe it's asphalt that's just wet. I don't know. I mean, it looks this- yeah, this is definitely mud by this point. Oh yeah. Nisha King. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. You done? River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Joss, I, I, I don't know how to say this, but Randy was abducted. Abducted? But he's alive, right? River! Tell me, damn it! Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. Don't we need to find, like, the music tastes or whatever of the guy who is currently in a coma and we know where he lives? Why are we going through Randy's stuff? What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. 
Oh, so you said to keep it between you and me, and then you immediately spilled the beans. Uncle River! Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? That's not what children look like. They're so fucking creepy. Look how fucking- this is a fucking office worker that happens to be three feet tall. That's not a child. I don't, I don't- I'm not an artist, I don't know what the fuck's wrong, but something's incredibly wrong. These are just tiny people! And children aren't just tiny people. Look at her! Look at how she's holding herself and the clothes she's wearing. That's just a fucking, like, seven- she's like a- like a 40-year-old office worker that just happens to be, like, two and a half feet tall. She's- that's not a child. This is, like, the movie Orphan. This is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You You're just mad that they don't like your track. music here. Tainted Overlord. Music. Can okay, I look at this up close? Not really. Who's in this picture? Why do you have two copies of the same book? Is one of them signed and sealed or something? Is this like one of these bands? Because it, it looks framed like a family photo, but it's got to be like a band poster, right? Because you're not in it and your mom's not in it. Game over, man. Drugs? Let's not go there. Hmm. Society's fault. Or society. He has even more copies of Titania. A really big fan of the book. And newspapers? Why does he have so many copies of the same newspaper? Is he a newspaper delivery boy? Do they have newspapers? Why do they have newspapers in this universe when everything's so cyberpunky? Like, that seems out of date. I guess part of the cyberpunk thing is sometimes the mixture of, like, old tech and future tech at the same time. I had the same poster. Oh, not me, but the same poster was in the garage at the beginning of the game, I think. Dear Mother Departs. The old die quietly, their dry hands giving a faint rustle as they fall for the last time. They tend to depart this world in November, at the darkest hour of the night, when dawn seems just as far off as the spring that will never return. They leave little behind, a small stock of last century's newspapers, a few chipped cups, clothes already smelling of the casket. Under their closed eyelids, flits a muted kaleidoscope of memories, flashing by in no particular order. They die with their gaze fixed on the hardening diorama for a long life that, in its final moments, always seems to have been far too short. Morbid in this context. Maybe those were the people that were in that picture. I don't know. I couldn't see it up close. So, oh, yeah. That's him with his guitar. Oh yeah, there's the same picture. So that, yeah, that was, that's the girl and that's him that are in that picture. I guess this is the new flag because the United States seems to be split into multiple countries now. Must wear corrective lenses. He had a glasses prescription apparently. No future. We encountered that before. Can I scan that? That's kind of important, isn't it? That's like a slogan that means something. Locked. Know where the key might be? Yeah, right here. <sighs> Break it open. Apparently he was by. 
and smoked a lot, judging by all the ashtrays that I'm disassembling in his room. I can still see the nicks from those first years we measured the kids. My character is also pretty clearly bi because he has the exact same magazine in his room. Which is not a choice you make. Which is interesting. Got some kind of key here. Real fossil. Not quite what we're looking for. No. No, it's what I it's I need it. Shut up. I need that key. It's expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Some kind of game here. Shipping code on it. I'm trying to look at it. Stop closing. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. It closed immediately. Now I don't get to look at it. I didn't even get to see what it was. Anyone knows the password. Can you, you crack it? You made me find a key to look at that. Let me look at it more. Damn it. Don't know how, River. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? What's his girlfriend's name? Or Ballsy. Or, no, no, it's no future. Look, it's fucking written everywhere. It's gonna be so embarrassing when it's that. Who's the girl? His ex, Natalie. Ex in the pig. What's her name? Natalie? Gonna have to keep trying. Okay, I think that means it didn't work. It's no future. No dot future. It's right there. It's right there. How do I type things? No? God damn it, was it the game? Was it the game that I just opened and closed? Like, was that it? Tainted Overlord, is that- was that the name of the game? Oh wait, poster. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. <laughs> he used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. It'd be really embarrassing if the password was... Move. Let's go! It'd be really embarrassing if the password was just a name or something, not even with like a number on it. Like basic cyber security. Woohoo, Librum Arbitrium. Dark shit. Sound could use work, but you can tell they put blood, sweat, and tears into it. It's not even turning. The max tech way. It says 20 years hunting down cyber psychos. That's a pretty brutal thing to be invested in. Get high at home, I've read this before for sure. Did I just pick up the key again? I've already had this key before. Be Randy looks like his tag. <laughs> Am I gonna open the same drawer a second time with the second key? Is that about to happen? I can't click on it. Uh, give his tag a try. Be Randy. That's not it. Can I not try to open this again? Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Okay. Help me have a look around. What the fuck was the key for then? Just to like open this thing up and then have it close again? I can't even like look at it again. What the f- It's so fucking weird. Alright, whatever. Um. Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. 
creepy guys slapping cows as they put out milk. But they also seem to be drinking milk? Like, they're getting pumped into and out of. Yeah. Volume 1 of the Blades of Doom Trilogy, Chapter 1, Ghosts of Ancestors Salvation. The silhouette of a gaunt female figure began to take shape among the ebb of the inky fog. By its long braid, the woman held a severed head. Only one eye socket clearly visible. Decay had already long begun to melt the face's flesh, exposing the white of bone underneath. The other side fared much better. Then, without uttering a sound, the woman shifted her gaze to pierce the eyes of the weary warrior. Come, kill me. I am ready for death. She shouted with a cold intensity, prepared to meet her end at last. Genius or cyber... Uh, genius or psychopath. Is there a name? I love slowly scrolling text. Where you just wait for the entire... You have to catch it at the beginning or you can't read the title. Oh yeah, best. Balbraith. 2043 to 2066? Well, he's only... He's 23? Shit. Black Metal has produced countless charismatic characters, but the uniqueness of Aiden Burroughs, known also by the monikers Nama and Balbraith, is perhaps in a class of his own, of its own, in the genre. Oh, the class. You're, the it is the class, not the person. Vocalist, guitarist, bassist, songwriter, ideologue, some call him a genius, others a fucking psychopath. When a person like Burroughs becomes de uh, defined by polar extremes, it's no wonder when he begins to arouse curiosity outside the metal world. There's no diminishing the lasting mark he's left in black metal, but even music but even music more broadly. Most agree he was the driving influence for a new wave of metal artists and bands like Tainted Overlord, who have managed to claw their way up from the bowels of metal hell to the almost mainstream music scene. There's a lot here. From Anthony to B. Randy. Harrison, if you collect that. Meant to call, Blockhead sorry. Street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. All right. Are you done? I meant to call. Sorry. Spent half the day sitting in my Thornton? I guess it's the vehicle. Police had all of Watson blocked off, and I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks like all different now, so trying to find ways past all those jams made it easy to get turned around. Hope you're not mad? Hey, no problem. I need, I need to help my mom anyways, etc. Do you have anything ready at your place? Almost. Just wanted to say thanks. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? Guess in general, I'm just holding on to the thought that there are more people like me out there dealing with the same shit. Why are you helping us anyways? I used to be like you. I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worse if it was when my friend died. Shit, sorry to hear that. Can I ask what happened? We had muscle disease. His body just got weaker and weaker until he was a shadow of himself. I wanted to help him more than anything, but there was just no possible way I could. Of course, anyone who could help he, he couldn't afford. If he just had the means, he could have bought some super drug or a new body or I don't know. Worse luck than the disease was being born into a poor family. Anyway, that's why I do what I do. I couldn't help I, I couldn't help my best chum. <laughs> but just maybe there are some people out in the world I can help. Figured out Randy's identity. Send him the game as a present. The one you found in his drawer? The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I used my admin privileges to find you IR in IRL. That is your home address. Sorry. Hope it's not too weird. 
But I had a good reason. There's a gift on the way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. You know it? Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm toking again. This guy baited Randy like a pro. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep doing it. I guess I'm just a piece of shit. You're a perfectly normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a gannic heart, just beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always there to talk to. To understand you. To help you. I know you'll recover from this like you always have. Thanks for yesterday. The city from up on that tower looks so beautiful. Honestly, I felt speechless, though. Maybe that's just because I don't love heights. Really, it was nice. But maybe next time, I take you into the city. Head to Japantown, grab a bite. You'll love it once you see it, and oh my god, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes? So Nova. Just let me know. Love you, cutie. Yeah, of course. I had fun, too. About this restaurant. We'll see. Not sure I'll have time. Hard to promise anything, so we'll see. Hey, you know you don't have to worry about Eddie's. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love ya. Brownie face. Tell you what. Do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. Oh, there's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Tell you what, I think your sight's really Nova. I think I'm ready to finally meet up in person. Same time and place you wrote before. Cause man, I just can't wait now. Ah! That's right. Same as we agreed. It makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one tiny request. Delete that first email I sent, just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around that doesn't concern them. I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mom died young. And my dad? He just tried to give me a future. Wasn't easy enough. Wasn't easy, though, to make a living on the farm once the cattle pestilence took hold. Eventually, it all just fell out beneath his feet. The cattle, the business, deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you're not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only difference is that it was nomads that stole your dad from you. And for me, it was corrupt cops and their dirty money grabs. That's why I hate all my activity from the corpse. Trauma team and Biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I got up to. But I don't have to explain that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep all this just between us Chumbas. Stay strong, buddy. I know you got it in you. Hey, Nat. Natalie Check it. must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Hey Nat, check out the site, Drugs Are Bad. When you're there, click on the image, the red one with the people in it. The hell is this, some kind of cult? Like, how'd you even find this? Just cruising the net. Doesn't matter. Drugs are bad. Gail? Hey, you won't answer my texts. Won't answer my hollows. Still alive, man? I have a special delivery for you from Valentino, Chuma Mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give us bo both kidneys for this thing, and I'm still holding it for you for free of charge like some gonk. Do me a favor and answer, because I'm starting to get pissed. Hmm. That's probably the most recent message. But he's gone. Drugs are bad. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. It's never too late to change. Addiction can be defeated. Yes, to fight addiction is to go to war for your life. But together, hand in hand, we can emerge victorious. We know who the enemy is, how to outsmart him, his tricks and unexpected blows. We know where he strikes, how much force he uses, his weak points, and how to drive him back. For years, we've been researching the most effective strategies to fight drug addiction. Now we're putting them into practice. Together, we can change your destiny. Because it's never too late to change. I 
hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Good to see you, friend. Welcome to Tony's Haven. The place... What a shitty hiding place, by the way. Like, that's such an easy image to click on. It's like, it's so... It's, such, it's on the front page and it's so big. The place you've been searching for. The place where you can become the best version of yourself. Thanks to Tony. I live here with my friends. They come here because they were fed with... Uh, fed up with seeing their life go to waste, just like you. Think of me as a former... A farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together we'll show those old farms what they're cap what we're capable of. No idea what I'm talking about? Don't worry. I'll explain everything in good time. But it's time for you to decide. Do you want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the person you're always dreaming of being? Come on down. Well. That's... that's a, so this is indoctrination, right? Like they're... They're sucking them in, and they're, they're putting them into the trade, probably. This is gonna get dark.